What's up guys? It's Bobby with Spitting the Truth About Records and today I'm going to go over the best pressings of Jefferson Airplane Searistic Pillow. Now, I've had a, a lot of pressings of these. I've had the DCC stereo uh, and to be honest, I didn't like it because it smoothed out Grace Slick's vocals a little too much for my liking. Uh, so I ended up selling it. Uh, I had the the newest one that uh, they reissued, I think, in 2021 or 2022. That was a cut from digital. Once again, uh, not that great, but then again, not that bad. Because this recording is not demo disc quality. It never has been. Which is a shame because it's a solid album. White Rabbit, somebody to love. I mean, this album is a classic. But getting it to sound right is tough. Uh... I'm going to go over some of the pressings that I've kept that I think, you know, make this album sound the best that it can. First one up is the Sundazed uh, Mono that was issued in uh, 2002, 2003, somewhere around that. And, uh, you know, they didn't go with the original RCA label. They put the little Sundays thing right up there with a the little star. That's eh, kind of goofy to me, but when it comes to the sound... Grace's vocals are better on this than they are on uh, some of the others. The bass isn't overbearing. It's not bloated. And uh, this one sounds decent. From a grade to like A, B, or C, I'd give this a B, around a B to B+. Plus. Uh, next coming up is the original mono. Uh, the original mono is... Uh, they, that's the RCA label that uh, came out on the original mono. Uh, this is probably the best the album is going to sound if you're a mono fan. Uh, you can still pick up copies for around $30 in mint condition, but it's tough to get them to play quiet, uh, especially on uh, songs like White Rabbit, where it's kind of, you know, softer. It's just not, you know, a sonic masterpiece, guys. Uh, next one is, uh, this one is a 70s, uh, reissue on, uh, the Dynaflex. Yeah, boys, you always can tell when you have Dynaflex because it is very, very wobbly. But the 70s stereo, uh, Dynaflexes aren't bad. I mean... That's the best you're gonna get this album to sound. Really, it's tough. It's it's not easy. Next up was uh, the MoFi. They cut this in 45 RPM in mono. Now, I've heard other guys review this one and say that this is the best that this album is going to sound. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, I actually prefer the Sundays over this. But then again, this one isn't bad. This one is uh, cut from a digital file. So maybe they may have cleaned up some of the, you know, tape deterioration from before. But from an A, B, C grade, I'd give this somewhere around a B minus to B. Uh, like I said, the Sunday's mono is a little bit better. Not much. Uh, but guys, to sum it up, if uh, you want to get probably the best sounding ones, it's not going to be a sonic masterpiece, but you might as well just go with the original mono uh, and the 70s stereo pressings. Uh, I didn't like the original stereos. I, I like the 70s better. I just thought that they, you know, brought Grace's vocals up more and uh, everything was more of like a flat ref uh, frequencies uh, response on it. Uh, but once again, this album is not a sonic masterpiece, so you're not going to get this copy and be like wow this is you know the best sounding record i've ever heard so to recap stick with the uh, mono original and the 70s stereo uh the mono sundays isn't bad and uh the mofi isn't bad but the mofi is probably 100 to 75 dollars so i would save your money all right guys this is bobby i'm out thank you let me know in the comments what pressings you guys like and what you think's better.